What's going on YouTube is Donnie B all day. I'm bringing you a classic today. Now, here's the thing. I'm sitting home, I was chilling out, and I was watching some of those old spaghetti westerns. And you guys know how when you're watching the spaghetti westerns, they start playing that guitar and it's like boing, 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 boing. Well, this dude was like walking on the wood, doo, 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 on the walkway, you know, it's like a sidewalk. And he's walking across and he's got the badass, and he's got his little gun hanging out. And he looked crazy cool. And all of a sudden, this little guitar picks down started coming out. And it sounded, well, it sounded uh, kind of like this a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. And I started thinking to myself, man, that is classic. That is just classic, classic, classic spaghetti western type stuff. And I started thinking to myself, you know what? It's a rainy day. I'm not going outside to do a knife review. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit inside and I'm going to bring them a classic. A classic, classic, classic. So I'm bringing you the Victoric no uh, Victorinox. That's a whole new word. Uh, Swiss Champ. This is like... The all, you know, the, the bells and whistles type Swiss Army knife. And this is a real Swiss Army knife. This is Victorinox. You know it by that little symbol right there. And if you get one, they come in all these cool different scales nowadays. And you can get them different colors and different patterns. But this is it, man. The true classic red Victorinox. Now, um, a Swiss Army knife. But here's the thing, guys. Um... I had the thing and then I lost the thing. Oh yeah, tabletop reviews. I've said it before, I said it again. I hate tabletop reviews. So I'm not gonna just show you this knife. I went outside, I brought in a piece of wood, I got some cardboard, I got some stuff. We're gonna make a little fire with this thing. And I'm gonna show you how absolutely great this little knife is. This is, this is you know, you get your Gerber multi-tools and they're cool and all, but they just are not this. This is so much freaking better. Um, in my opinion, my very, very humble opinion, which generally is wrong half the time. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few of the, the small things. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you everything. Um, and then we're going to actually use a bunch of this stuff. I've seen videos on these things where they tell you about it and they'll, they'll use the knife or something like that. But they don't really go through everything. They don't show you how good this thing really is. So um, my quest and my goal and my... You know, what I need to get done today is to show you that this little knife, this little tool is just awesome. So we're going to start with the lanyard keeper, right? The little key ring. Now, it looks, because you're seeing this little tiny keychain holder, you're thinking, all right, well, if I probably hold that, it's going to snap off. And I'm, It's connected to the steel frame. I mean, this is on there. That's not going anywhere. So you don't have to worry about breaking that off. If you really want to pop that onto a carabiner or something and carry it that way, by all means do it. If not, they sell little pouches, little belt pouches that you can put them in. I've seen them range anywhere from like 15 to 100 bucks for a pouch. Um, either that, just throw it in your pocket. This thing is only three and a half inches long. So some for some of you guys, uh, your jeans have that little tiny pocket above the right pocket. It might even fit in some of those. Um, but it's not a hard carry. This is not a hard carry. So first things first, I'm going to open it all up and we're going to start that way. Um, here we have, obviously, the corkscrew. Inside the corkscrew, this isn't a drill. People have no idea what this is sometimes. This is an eyeglasses screwdriver. And let me see, I have a pair of glasses right here, as a matter of fact. So if I need to do some work on my eyeglasses... I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that in. It needs glasses. Hold on a second. That's clear. Um, I can literally... Right there. I got the head of my, my screw right there. It's fitting perfect. Boop. So it's it's a, uh, a very good tool if you have sunglasses or, or regular glasses. Any kind of glasses that might require some tightening. This little guy right here does it. And the corkscrew, obviously. I've never had alcohol in my life, so I've never had the need for a corkscrew but true story 
and I'm not embarrassed by it, but I should be. When I was in junior high, you know, we used to have some some battles. You know what I mean? There was there was one group against another group, and it was always it was always the same way. It was it was the Italians versus the Irish. So so we always you know we had, we had this big thing, and so you know, um, with me, I used to. I used to have a knife that had a corkscrew in it and had a little blade going out here, a little blade going out there. And I used to hold the corkscrew like this. So when I, you know, I come out like that and uh, all my Italian friends, you know, they gave me the nickname Corky. So every time we'd go out to a battle, all you hear is Corky. But that's, that's not um something I'm going <laughs> to, I probably should be spreading out to you guys. Any of you kids listening, don't get into fights with corkscrews in your hand. It's not a very good thing. All right, so here we go. What's next? Right down the line. Now, remember that all these separators right here are all steel. These are all steel liners, and they are solid, solid, solid. This guy right here, a lot of people don't even know what this is. I'm going to show you how to use this. Well, I'm going to, you know how to use it, but I'm going to show you how well it uses a little bit later. This is not a screwdriver. You know how you can tell is because it's, it's grinded on one half. It comes to a point. That's a chisel. A lot of people don't realize that. That's a chisel. You know, if you ever carved your, your name in a tree with a girl, oh, Joni loves Chachi, um, you use a knife and it's you got to wiggle, wiggle. This is a little bit better. This is an actual chisel and it's a very good chisel. So we're going to go through that a little bit. Um, let's see. Here is, okay, so here is, there's two different screwdrivers on this thing. One's on a can opener and one is right here. The one on the can opener is a little fat one, so you can just get it right there. But if you need a long screwdriver, something to fit into a hole to get to a screw, that's what this is. This is the screwdriver. Let's see. Moving down the line, what do we have here? Uh, right, oh, there, here is a, a tool that some people don't know what it is. They kind of get lost on this. This is just a hook, right? And people think, well, what the hell am I going to use a hook for? But I'll tell you what, if you are camping and you just lit a fire and you need to boil some water and you need to pick that little pot up off the off the fire that little hook is great for those little camp um those little camp st uh stove kits you know and they come with a little pot with a little wire handle this picks up that and allows you to carry it you can also use um string you can use rope you know you can use whatever you have to loop in there and you can tie onto something if I'm carrying firewood and I want to make a bundle of kindling and whatnot. Instead of carrying all these little sticks, what I can do if I have some cordage with me, um, even if I don't have cordage, I can make natural cordage out of peeling some bark. Um, I can take a piece of that, you know, wrap it all up real, real nice and tight, and then take a piece of that and throw it inside this hook and carry it all in one bundle. That is a lifesaver when you need to do stupid things like that it's things that you don't realize that little hook can come in really good it's also good if you drop something in a little hole and you need to scoop it out like keys key rings um all right let's see what else we have here let's see what else we have here all right this one is important if you are a leather guy or if you are out in the wilderness and you have yourself a pelt this one right here is the all and it serves a multi-purpose you can drive through some leather. I'm going to show you that. You can stick some thread in here and you can puncture through and then pull the thread through and puncture through and pull the thread through. I'm not a seamstress, but that is good for that. And a lot of people don't understand that the reason it's shaped like this is because if you need to take out some stitching, if you need to remove some stitching, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of grinded right there gives you a nice like a like an edge it's actually got an edge on it. it's pretty a sharp edge not overly sharp but this right here is round so you can go under the stitching without ripping the whatever the material is then you pop the stitching with this with this sharpened edge boop and that makes things a whole lot easier so that my friends is the um the back side right there that's what we have we're going to go through some of these we're going to use some of them and uh show you what they do i'm really going to show you the awl and the chisel um and the screwdriver most likely uh, all right so let's go on to the back side here speaking of screwdriver this is a three-way tool right here um 
this is the bottle opener, right? It's not the can opener. I thought the can opener had that, but it didn't. It's the, the bottle opener. So the bottle opener has a screwdriver, has a big flathead, but it also has this guy right here. And that is for twisting wire or cutting thin wire. So you actually have a wire crimper right there. So you have screwdriver, can opener, wire crimper. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like having multi-use tools. This guy right here, you can see it's see the difference between a bottle opener, which just hooks on and cooks a bottle, and a can opener where this side is grinded, this side is not, and that's so you can literally cut open a can and it actually works really freaking good so you have your bottle opener and you have your can opener so next very important tool and here's a cool thing about this tool is it locks in two positions it locks there and now when i say lock i mean it stops with this little spring action so you can use your screwdriver this way or you can open it up all the way and use it this way so there's your phillips head all right so here is one this is one of the reasons that i get this model there's there's a few reasons there's this there's the saw and there's the file and a lot of people think the file why the file i'll show you but this right here is the magnifying glass and it is awesome uh let's see you need to uh let's see i don't even know if we're gonna be able to get that in there but you need to look at some numbers up close oh look at that but it's not just for reading this thing is great for bushcraft skills for wilderness needs um, if you are in a need of fire and you don't have a magnesium rod, you don't have a ferro rod, you don't have a lighter, you don't have all these means of lighting fire, this right here is one of the best old school classic fire making skills you'll ever freaking need. You find yourself a good spot in the sun, you get yourself some really good tinder and you plant this thing solid to where it's not going to shift. Where that sunbeam is going to make a nice freaking straight through. Man, everybody roasted ants as a kid. We know what it's like. This guy right here works. This is my, like one of my favorites. This is one of the reasons I needed to have, on a Swiss Army knife when I bought it, I needed to have a magnifying glass, I needed to have a file, and I needed to have a saw. Those are the things that were most important for me. All right, so next we have the pliers. And they're small pliers, but they're get-the-job-done pliers. They're a lot stronger than you'd think. They look how nice and thick these are. This is some good steel. And, and they really, really, really get the job done. I'm um, digging the pliers. Uh, another one that works the same way is the scissors. And these scissors are actually really, really good. You can cut through light hide with these. Nice freaking scissors. Really good when you're out there and you need to give yourself a trim. I'll tell you what, these scissors will get the job done. All right, now here's one that's a multi-purpose tool. Here you have a fish scaler, all right? I've never used it. I've never had to scale any fish with this. Um, it also has a ruler. Now it has on one side centimeters and on the other side inches. That's good for people who do fish things like that, but it's also good if you're building something and you need precision. It might take a while, but you can line it up three inches, three inches, three inches, three inches, and you can measure things out to make to make things perfect. If you need to make, you know, uh, pits or arrows or or um, housing, anything like that, shelters, that can actually come in handy. This little guy right here, this little camel toe. Ha, um, is actually a fish hook remover. And while I haven't had the need to use it, I have a buddy who absolutely uses the hell out of these things. And um, he loves, because he's a big fisherman, I'm not, he loves using this little D-hooker. So, that's that. Uh, next is, let's see, we'll pull out the main blade. And that guy right there is a sweet piece of steel that is mirror polished and sharp. Uh, same thing goes with the little guy. It's his little brother on the other side, right? Um, both spear tips, both very, very good little blades. 
Um, they will last you a long time as long as you take care of them. Now the last two, I'll show you just like this. These are important for me. The saw, I love having. Not only do you get to cut precision pieces of wood that you need cut, you can take off you know, edges without having to, um, you know, pointy pieces of wood without having to baton and, and dull a blade. This thing comes in so handy, it saves your knife. It's awesome. Here is the file. Most people have no idea what to do with the file. They're lost. They say, what the hell am I going to use a file for? I can take the, the burrs off of wood if I'm making a chair. Yeah, that's okay. You know, I can make make round edges when I'm doing windows and doors on a structure or whatever. Meh, you don't really need it for that. Here's what I use it for. This thing is great for scraping magnesium and to get fires going. This thing is great for scraping magnesium. You have your two file sides, you have your smooth side right here, and then right under here, you can see those lines. That little rigid area right there, do, 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 on a magnesium rod, that gives you beautiful shavings. I'm gonna show you this in a little bit, and we're gonna light a fire using the file on this knife. Now, that's everything on the inside, <clears throat> but we're still, um, we still have some things to, to show you. One, I gotta reopen this, <clears throat> this corkscrew because right here, you see that little dot right there? So cool that they do this. You never realize how much you need one until you need one. But see, I just pulled it out a little bit. I'm not going to pull it out all the way. A steel pin. Just a pin. Right? And what's a pin good for? Pinning stuff, I guess. But it's really good for, um, if I have a splinter, and I can't get it right away with the tweezers, you take that pin and boop, you loosen up the skin, and that enables you to, um, to use your use your uh what do you call it you know the things the tweezers the things so um it enables you to get your tweezers into a better spot and that in my opinion is just awesome so let me close up some of this stuff here and finish showing you because there's still more there's still more speaking of the tweezers boom there you go you get a beautiful beautiful little set of tweezers do, 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 do. Hopefully I won't have to show you how these work because that means I have to get a splinter first. Boop. So you stick that right back in there. And then you go to this side and you say, well, there's more stuff. What could it possibly be? Right here. Do, do, do. You have this guy and people are like, well, what the hell is that? It's a toothpick. It's an actual toothpick. So here's the thing. If you're buying these used, remember you can get replacement parts. If you're buying these used, remember that somebody might have had this in their mouth. So don't go sticking that thing in your teeth. Um, and this right here is pretty far in there. Here is something crazy. Now, I, I said I'll get starting using stuff in a little bit, but I'm going to start with this one right now. Okay, check this little tool out. You can write survival messages, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's a pen. So you need to write messages if you're in the woods and you're looking for help and you're saying, you know, please help me. If you find a piece of bark that you can write on or you have a piece of paper or anything that you can put ink onto, this guy right here could be your ultimate lifesaver. You can give people directions as to where you're heading, what direction you're going. And um, or if you meet somebody and you want to get a number... Um, having a pen is freaking awesome. All right, so uh, that's everything in it. That was a huge amount of time it took just to go over all that. But now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how some of these tools are effective, how good they are, how well they work. So stick with me here. Well, let's get started. I'm going to use the awl first. Now I have this nice material here. And I'm going to show you that if I just take this little awl and I just give it a nice little puncture, it goes straight through. I have no problem. Now, if I have some kind of some kind of uh, leather, some kind of twine, anything that I can fit through this little eye hole, um, I will be able to stick that through 
and then use that to pull it through and now I can begin my sewing if you will so here you go I just made myself a nice little you know a nice little start to um, to sewing so that works out perfect um, now of course if I want I can take this and do it this way and then do the same thing take this little piece right here shove it through that little eye hole there and of course I, I took a piece of uh, something that's just about the same size I could have picked a smaller kind of stuff but no oh, fuck it screw it so what I want to do is Jewish I was going to show you I could always come back through if I really needed to go through two pieces there's the side I started with that fit through there and oh boy this makes for good video here we go so now I stick it through and now I pull it back through and what did I do I just tied two pieces together bada boom bada bing you do that a bunch of times and guess what now you've just sewn yourself some shoes you've sewn yourself a shelter you've sewn yourself a coat anything just by using that little guy right there next all right that was fast and easy so now I'm going to use my um, my chisel and basically what I want to do is I want to make myself a nice little carved out spot here and to come at me and I'm going to carve out a beautiful well you know it's good it's pretty much feather sticking once you carve really so I mean all your feather sticking needs get done at the same time so here I am I'm able to carve myself grooves so if I need to well if I'm whittling I mean that's great if I if I'm a whittler and I just want to make something cool you know make some grandpappy soul tool um I can do that but if I need to make tools where I need notches you know precision notches for things to fit into the chisel is going to give you these awesome awesome square grooves and if I keep going I could literally go all the way through with the chisel then I can come back through from a different direction and I can go down through here as far as I wanted so let's say I wanted to go through a quarter inch I can go through a quarter inch this way quarter inch this way now I can tie things through and instead of tying all the way around I can just connect things this way or I can shave down an end and post it in and that way when I'm making a structure I can put this one down I can use my chisel to make myself a nice hole here I can use my knife to shave off enough and there I can use my file to make it all smooth and then I can literally fit it inside the slot and I can actually have building tools no nails no screws just fitting together thanks to having a chisel you don't realize how good it is until you actually figure out what the hell you can do with a chisel because you can build an entire shelter no screws no nails no ties by making notches and fitting them together do 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 just like cheap furniture at walmart you just all click together and uh it, you'll be very very well off having something as simple as that let's keep going uh oh i missed pause all right so now we're going to work the screwdriver let's say you're out and you find somebody's old shelter or something old that was falling apart and decrepit and it had some screws in it and you're like oh my god thank god i found screws because i have a screwdriver and now i can build my own shelter and do it right so let's see i hold the screw there i put this little screw right there and just like that i am in the process of putting a screw into a board how simple is that that's a phillips head what if you had a flat head well that's great you just use the flathead screwdriver let me pull that guy out of there that's on this side i do believe do 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 so now i say oh no i only had a i only had a flathead all right so i'll just use my flathead on this phillips screwdriver and if my flathead here is too big i just use the other flathead 
Um, perfect. Now let's say the screw is stripped and you need to get it out because you want to reuse it. All right, fine. Let's get it out. Uh-oh, I have pliers. So now I'm saying, oh my God, I'm screwed. I can't get this thing out. Really? Check this out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that works perfect. And all of a sudden, doo -doo 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 -doo, I have a screw, right? So these little, these little tools are so much better than you would expect them to be. Um, they're strong, they're freaking rigid, they, they just get the job done. So let's remove the, uh, the pliers, we'll take out the scissors. I just got done sewing myself a nice garment, so now I need to trim the leather. Oh wow, look how beautiful that is. So let's show that again. How easy those scissors work right through. Oh my God, but what if I have two pieces? Oh my God, who cares? Um, it's just good stuff. It's good, good stuff. Good, wholesome scissors. Um, these things cut through like leather, easy. Paper, easier. Hair, easier. Um, they're just really freaking good. I'm not gonna show you the magnifying glass because we don't have any sun. Well, I showed you that it works on numbers. Um, so what I am gonna show you, however, is a couple of these blades here let's take out the little one let's take out the big one so just in case you need to fight bigfoot you have a couple there um now here's the thing left-handed right-handed it doesn't matter for me being a lefty i love having this blade right next to my finger because it's dead in line i'm dead straight if i'm right-handed my thumb is still straight with my, my hand there. So no matter what side I'm on, here's this one, here's this one, here's this one, here's this one. It works no matter what hand you're at. So let's uh, take this guy right here and uh, let's see how sharp that is. Wow. Let's take that little guy and do the same thing. It's the same sharp. These knives are meant to be knives. They're just sharp, sharp, sharp. So here's the thing. I have a chisel which I could feather stick with, but I also have this little blade right here. And I'm gonna use this small guy and I'm just going to make myself some really nice, tight, pretty feathers. And what I'll do is, oh, I was going to say I'll pop them off and then put them up so I can show them to you. I pop that one off and hit the floor. Hit the floor. Hit the floor. So, feather sticking. Fire made easy. Um, these guys, these guys really can get the job done. Um, I don't want to bang around on my table, but can I baton with one of these guys? I actually can. I actually can. Um, I always forget that the... I'm left-handed, so the nail the nail holder is really good for right-handed people on that side. But um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'll just press pause. All right. So the question was, can I baton? Now I'm doing this on my leg, so it's not solid. But I just want I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. I just want to show you the strength of this blade. That's all the way in there. No problem. Let's see. There's any marks on this blade? Marks. Let's see. Just the sap of the wood was all that was there. It is fine, fine, fine. Oh, and did I mention that this thing is super, super shave sharp? Super shave sharp. I mean, it is sharp. Um, the blades on these guys are very good. So can I baton? Can I do all that? Hell, yes, I can. Um, I wanted to show you the saw and the file. Uh, that's there's the file. But I wanted to show you the saw. Got to find it because these things hide in there. That's a descaler. That's the saw right there. All right, so what I want to do is use this saw first. Man, this thing is just gadgety. All right, so... If I need precision sawing, 
right here. I'm going to give myself a couple of nice nice strokes and then I can just if I'm if I'm not holding it and it's wiggling in my hand, then it works a lot easier, but just doing this, I'm going to show you how deep that got. Just by doing what was that? Five strokes. Look at that. Five strokes. I'm almost all the way through there. Five strokes going just one direction. This saw is menacing. This is a mean, mean tool right here. Um, it's awesome. This saw is super sharp. It's um, it's the teeth. Oh, man, I don't even know. I don't know the name of, of how the teeth go because I'm not lumberjack B all day. I'm just Donnie B all day. Um, but you can see how really, really jagged them teeth are. And they freaking work. All right, so let's put the saw away. We're going to take the file out. And now we're going to get to some fun. We're going to make a fire using this little file right here. So let's press pause. We're going to get down to the to the fireplace and we're going to light it up. All right, guys. So here we are. We're going to make a little fire. I just took a little piece of dry cotton, spread it out a little bit. What I want to do is I'm going to take my file and I'll file some magnesium onto this cotton and because I have cotton I'm not going to need that much normally if I have no cotton then um, I would just make myself a nice pile of magnesium literally I'm not going to need that much today you'll see why so now I'm going to get all that magnesium on the cotton and you can see it all there glistening and so now it shouldn't take very much to strike with here let me uh make sure i got my okay here we go there we go so now i have all my little stuff and i'm gonna burn really nice you see how fast that went Make all my little my little fire grow here. Got a bunch of cardboard. I'm just gonna burn up the box that I had, and uh, that's it, man. It is that simple. Fire made easy, all with the power of a file, a little magnesium, a little cotton, and I don't need all of that. But I'll tell you what, if you're a survivalist and you don't have all that, then maybe you're not a very good survivalist. i throw that in there. And uh, I'll actually dip this around that way so you can see what's happening here. Let me get some of that going. Yeah. Got a nice little fire started there. And so what I want to do is I want to light all this up. This is as simple as it gets when you have cardboard. Nice, easy fire making. So that's kind of boring. So what I'll do is while I get this fully lit, I'll pause. And there you have it, my friends. How easy it is to light a fire with remedial tools. I just used a file to knock down some magnesium. I used that same file to create a spark. And voila, we have a nice toasty fire. Love it. Well, so a lot of times I would tell you if I recommend something you could be used for this. Here's the thing, a Swiss army knife. You know, they, they go back so far that people don't look at them as a serious tool. They look at it as a novelty. But these things right here are so much more than that. And I don't just recommend that everybody should have some kind of Swiss Army knife. I'm telling you that everybody should have some kind of Swiss Army knife. This is one of those things that should be in your tackle box. This should be in your go bag. This should be in your camp bag, your hike bag.
This should be in your pocket. This, this is one of those things that you can use all over the place. I mean, there's if you're a, a wine drinker, man, you always have that corkscrew. If you wear glasses, you always have that screwdriver. If, you know, you have a little sewing kit that you like to keep with you and you sometimes you need to unhem something or whatever, you know what I mean? If if you're into that kind of stuff, then you always have that. You have the magnifying glass. If you can't read little tiny print on on a medicine bottle or something, you know what I mean? You pop that guy out right there and boom. Um, this thing is just so useful for so many different things. If you're a mother, it's good because you have tweezers in there. You have your sewing stuff right there. You have your glasses repairs. You have, well, if you're a mother, the wine thing. Um, but you also have everything else for handy dandy little get it done pieces like the screwdrivers and and the bottle openers and all that how many times have you stopped at a store on the side of the road and you got yourself your kid a root beer and it, uh oh it doesn't twist off and now your kid's sad because you can't open up the damn root beer you got a bottle opener if you're a cat person you got a can opener it's just uh there's just so many things on this thing that are useful and they're not just novelty useful these things are built to last this knife right here will last me the next 50 years um it's just a, an awesome piece and i don't recommend it i'm telling you not that i think you should have it i'm saying everybody in this country on the planet needs to get one of these things it's just impossible not to think that there's something on here that you wouldn't need at some point in your life. You could keep it in a kitchen drawer and just have everything. And not only that, but it's beautiful. Look at that. I mean, that's a whole lot of steel in there. On a package that's very, very easy to carry. But just everything from the pen to the tweezers to the pin to the knives to just everything. This thing is fan-freaking-tastic. So, this is the Swiss Champ. Um, it's Victorinox, uh, Victorinox, it's classic, it's the way it's supposed to be, these things will stand the test of time, it's, uh, it's just beautiful, it's a must have, so get yourself some kind of Swiss Army knife, if not something this big and this massive, you can get a smaller one that only has a few things in it, but I'm telling you, some of the stuff I showed you in here really, really comes in handy. You never know when your car is going to break down. I don't care if you have the nicest cell phone in the world and the most expensive BMW. Bad things happen to everybody, good or bad. So you might just need a tool that you can rely on until help gets there. And this is the kind of tool that you can rely on. I'm Donnie B. All Day, and until next knife.